Forget politics as usual. Meet the AI minister taking charge. Albania just made it real with Diela, the world's first AI-generated minister tasked with fighting corruption. She will manage public tenders so every rupee is transparent and 100% corruption-free. So far, Diela has helped issue over 36,000 digital documents and delivered nearly 1,000 services. But Albania isn't the only country exploring this. Apart from it, countries like Singapore, Estonia and Canada are also integrating AI into governance. And India isn't far behind. Apps like Rahat speed up disaster relief, Omang manages citizen grievances and Bhashani ensures government services reach people in multiple languages. AI is now part of full-fledged governance, but it must complement elected leaders rather than replace them. Mistakes can block welfare access, biases in data can lead to discrimination, and transparency is not always guaranteed. In short, AI in public service is powerful, but only if paired with ethics, accountability, and democratic safeguards. But the real question here is, are we ready to trust machines with our democracy? Tell us in the comments below. For more such content, visit our Digital Current Affairs platform.